quick disclaimer on this one. It's still middle of winter and the bike's been winterized. And honestly, I am running out of content. So I already shot these over the summer and I never figured the final edit and put it together and, and actually get it up on YouTube. So you get the joy of, of seeing it now while nothing's happening outside as far as motorcycles go. But I did notice a sort of mistake or something that I know a lot of people will comment on that the bike is upright while I'm doing that oil change. And whether that's the best thing to do or not the best thing to do, it's always how I've done it. And typically I'll actually tip the bike off the stand to drain any extra little bit and not just leave it upright the entire time. But of course I forgot to show and or tell you guys that. So keep in mind while you're watching, thanks. Today we're gonna to be changing the oil on this KTM 690 SMCR. Let's start by warming it up. So to do this, you're going to need to make sure the bike's properly warm so that oil can drain a lot easier and uh, you're going to want to put it upright. So let's get it up and uh, start cracking at it. So some things that you're going to need are sockets, a torque wrench, maybe two, the oil change kit. Now I order these off of Amazon and sometimes they come in these little boxes and sometimes they come in nice plastic ones. So I guess this is the service edition and then sometimes I get the showroom edition ones, but it comes with all new drain plugs, washers, gaskets, new filters, more filters, anything and everything that you need. And they're like 60 or 70 bucks. Now, when I go to my dealer, they always say we can't get them for the next couple months. They're impossible to get, yada, yada. They all go to the service team in the back. So if you see them when they're available, I would suggest buying a couple. I usually go through about two or three per season, even though I'm only at 1,600 miles on the bike, I still change it you know, within the first 600 miles before I put it up for winter, rode it for the first three, 400 miles, change it again. So this will be my fourth change so far on this bike. Not to say I'm an expert, but I've been around the block a few times with this LC4 motor. Another thing you want, drain pan, that's important. And not to mention oil, right? So I use the Motul or Motorex, Motul, Motorex Power Synthetic 4T. Um, I use a 10W50. That's what the manual recommends. And uh, that's what I'm gonna use. I mean, heck, I've got the logo on the graphics kit, so I might as well rep the product and use the product. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess we'll figure out the rest as we get moving here. Now the first thing you want to do is find the engine oil drain plug, which is this guy right here. Let me see if I can get in there. Right there. That's going to be a filter as well, but this is the main drain plug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up a little bit, loosen that up, start draining this oil. I don't know if you can see that, but that is pretty grungy. Let's see, yeah. Whew. There we go. Kind of dark on the coloring. Pretty typical. And I always try to change the oil as soon as I start to see it get a little dark, which may be excessive, but when you love something as much as you love your motorcycle, you do anything for it. In the meantime, while that's draining, I like to take a little brake clean and clean off this bolt and make sure that copper ring's in good condition. And according to the manual, I gotta put this back in. So, I'm gonna need a torque wrench. And now this is going to need to be set to 20 Newton meters. 
I'm gonna be maxing this little guy out. All right, so we're now down to the point of a very slow drip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the area, make sure I can get enough of that excess oil kind of out of the way, and on to torquing it to 20 Newton meters, which surprisingly is not that tight. There's 20. That's 20 right there. Perfect. So I'm following the owner's manual on this one, and next is this filter here. Now what sucks is it's pretty much right in the damn way of this carbon fiber pipe guard. So it makes it a pain in the ass to get this filter out. So usually what I have to do is remove at least most of this pipe guard. So P3, if you could, I don't know, not do that, that'd be great. All right, now that we can see that piece a little bit better, it's time to get some of those nuts off. But what I always do is add some extra towels in there because this one tends to bleed a little bit. Whoa! Well, I'll shut that one across the floor. All right, a little more oil coming out. That towel's gonna stay there because trust me, there's more to do. You need to see me for this one because anybody who owns a KTM four stroke knows the struggle of what I'm about to do. And this is the biggest pain in the ass. And if anybody knows a better way to do this or a better tool to do this, please, please, please comment below because I struggle with this uh, probably the most on any service things with this bike. So what do we have to do? I've got to get this filter out. And the only way that I've ever done it was with a pair of needle nose pliers on this inner circle and pulling and yanking. I have no other idea how to do it. This is what I have done. And it's the biggest pain in the ass because you just, I don't know, you just can't. Like it's just, oh God, it always sucks. I am always worried about needle nose pliers because of the threads and yeah, so let's get creative here. Use your brain, dude, use your brain. So now that the filter's out of the way, I can get my other little rag out of the way. New filter, matching serial numbers. Can you see that? There you go. Matching serial numbers to the one that came out, and it's pristine. One thing I always do is I take a little new oil and I rub it on this rubber gasket. So when it goes back in, if there's an opportunity, you can lubricate it, whatever, yada yada. So what I always have hanging out is a fresh container of new oil. So what I'll do, take my finger and circle it, just like that. It's gonna be getting oil anyway when the bike's running, but just in that process, I always wanna add a little bit more. So we just take this, find the center, and pop it back into place. Now I'll repeat the process of cleaning these up. And now I can put the pipe guard back on. Whee! Next we move on to this side of the bike and repeat the process. As long as we're on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do this filter on the bottom here. So when it comes to the two filters that you have to do, you get essentially everything you need within these kits. So it comes with the O-rings, it comes with the actual nuts, and all you have to do is essentially assemble them. So the best way to do it is to take the smaller O-rings and place them around the top and bottom of these filters. There's one there. 
see if I can show you how to do this one. Maybe try and boop, just like that. So those go around there on the top and the bottom. And then you're going to want to insert these into the nut itself. So what I'll do is take a little bit of oil, new oil, run it around one of the ends of the metal filters, maybe the inside of that nut as well, and suction cup them together, just like that. So there's one. Let's complete the second one. And away we go. Now the last filter that we're going to need to do is this one. It's right next to the oil drain plug. One on the left hand side is kind of hard to see with the uh, shift lever here, but let's crack this one open. So now that we're down to this point, all we have to do is fill it with oil. So you're going to need your funnel and your oil, and we're going to need 1.7 liters or 1.8 quarts, right? Yeah, 1.8 quarts. Math. Um, this is a liter right here, so I need one and then 0.7 of this one to make it work. And there we go. And then once we run the bike and get everything cycled through, we'll double check where our oil level is at, make sure there's no leaks, and top it off with the last little bit. So, I don't know how well you can kind of see it here, but as you can tell, it's kind of coming back to that center point, and we should be all good. That's how you change the oil on your KTM 690 SMCR, or really any KTM with an LC4 motor. Now, they do suffer from oil starvation, so keep an eye on it. Don't overfill it, and make sure you don't run without oil, and uh, always try to change it you know, I don't want to say as much as you can, but when you feel it's necessary. If that oil is dark, if it's black, uh, get rid of it 100%. It should be that kind of creamy, fresh oil look, maybe even a little bit browned. But I would say do it at least two or three times a season. I know I always do it before I put it up for the winter and winterization. And I'll show you what that process looks like. But overall, I think it's fairly simple, give or take. 45 minutes to an hour in the garage after you've done it a couple times and you're easy to work around it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it can be a resource for anybody with questions on these topics. So until next time, remember, keep riding. Keep